Scientists say this volcano in Alaska is going to erupt soon. Mount Spur has been showing signs of action for the past year, but things are ramping up. If you're picturing massive lava flows, think again. The biggest threat will actually be ash. That's footage from the last major eruption in 1992. And based on past eruptions, this stratovolcano will erupt explosively from its flank rather than straight up through the crater's solid layers. And depending on wind and weather, volcanic ash could blanket Anchorage, just 130 kilometers to the east. If the eruption happens during daylight, the ash cloud could block out the sun for hours, plunging the area into total darkness. Ash is dangerous to breathe. It damages cars and machinery and can disrupt daily life. The best move during an ash fall, stay indoors. Live ash fall forecasts are already being generated based on daily weather conditions. Other hazards, avalanche like clouds and fast moving debris flows down the sides of the volcano, meaning recreational trips will be off limits. And then there's air travel. Ash could rise high into the atmosphere and the tiny glass-like particles can re-harden inside jet engines, posing a serious threat. Since Alaska's airspace is a major route for Trans-Pacific flights, this eruption could affect a lot more people than just those in Anchorage, including flights from Toronto to Seoul or Hong Kong to Memphis. Okay, so how soon is soon? We're talking months or even weeks. Here's what the science is telling us. Mount Spur is one of 86 active volcanoes in Alaska. So you better believe the Alaska Volcano Observatory has been fully monitoring this volcano for any clues that the magma deep within is on the move. That includes tracking earthquakes. Hundreds of shallow microquakes have been detected near the volcano, evidence of underground movement. A massive steam plume has been rising from the summit in recent days, and heat from below is warming the slopes and melting the snow and ice. And finally, Scientists have measured increased levels of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, both signs of rising magma. But we know, based on those past eruptions, there should be some warning time. Instruments will pick up actual ground deformation, and there will be what we call a volcanic shudder, a long rumbling earthquake to signal that final push of magma. That's when officials will raise the current advisory to full-on warning, giving people on the ground at least a few hours to prepare. Okay, so a massive dump of ash may be on the way soon. Could that affect the global climate? Probably not. Large-scale climate disruptions only happen when a volcano injects massive amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, leading to a temporary cooling. But here's a wild stat. While Mount Spur will release some CO2 into the atmosphere, it will be a fraction compared to human emissions. For context, Mount St. Helens in 1980 released 10 million tons of CO2 in just nine hours. Humans release the same amount every two and a half hours. For now, all eyes are on Mount Spur.